I call these uh, photographs still films, um, and it gives you the idea that they relate to still photography as well as moving image, and they, they explore the territory between these two disciplines. I found, uh, find that single frame photographs don't really depict our, the continuum of life and our, our sense of, of transition. Um, there's that, that truncated, I, I, I don't feel that that static viewpoint and that fractional moment that might be the concomitant of a decisive moment adequately conveys our experience of being alive. So I started to explore the idea of pulling together individual single frames taken over an extended period of time from several viewpoints. These two images are clearly of the same tree and they're, they were taken from two batches of photographs taken over about a 12 month period. So you'll be able to see in some instances there are autumn, autumn photographs, some summer, summer, some winter. So the, these photographs are taken over a 12 month period and they, by hanging them side by side, they sort of illustrate that you can make, there's no definitive view, there's no definitive composition. You can, you can make as many versions and approaches as you like. And the more you look at these two, the more you see the differences. And there may just be three pictures that form a bow that are in the other, in the opposing picture, but they'll be in a different place. Generally, there's, everything has changed. They started life as palladium prints. And what I wanted to do at that time was to break away from the, the rectangle, the rectangular photograph. Um, and even in some cases, break out of the individual little rectangle. If you look at this image, they, even these branches have broken out of their little 35 millimeter rectangle. So I was trying um, very hard to break, break out of this normal, the normal sort of rectangular framework. These are uh, the three photographs here, three compositions here, where the, um, the image is sort of broken up and split up. The reason behind it is to try to sort of uh, give a nod to the way the eye moves over a subject. We, we don't, although the world is not broken up, in our vision, we f we concentrate on certain aspects, certain things. We focus on certain things, uh, and and sort of half ignore what's surrounding them. So, I that's one of the motivations behind making these three images. The other the the other concern was to try to bring the image up to the surface of the paper, to to try and deny this recessive depth that you get in. Most photographs you sort of look into and you look down um, and I wanted to bring the image up to the surface and stay on the surface. There was also this, I was very much aware of one of my strongest influences or strongest likes and loves, so Suzanne's watercolour paintings, where there are just small discrete areas of colour and pencil, large areas of white and the white the white of the paper, in fact, is the Provencal light. And it's, uh, they're wonderful evocations of this intense light. And it's almost as if what he was just painting, the little bits of colour that you see are, the, are what was going on in the shadows. So these refer to that. Um, it's called a short film of rough water. I've, I've mentioned in the earlier pictures about going back and finding the same trees that I photographed uh, a decade after the initial images were made. So in a sense, there was a sort of an identity. It's quite, uh, it's quite challenging to think about what water is. I mean, I happen to know that this is the river Stour, uh, and I don't know what that name means. What does that name mean, you know, the river Stour? I mean, this water is just m moving. It's, it's, never, it's not going to be there five minutes later. What is water? It's such a, it is a fluid thing, it's fluid stuff. So it's quite, quite peculiar 
for me to think about going back to the standing on the same bridge uh, in similar kind of conditions where there was a lot of water rushing under this bridge and taking the colour photographs. But can one say that, you know, in terms of a title, that I was going back and photographing the same river? I mean, this is this open to question. Uh, it was photographed just by walking, wading up a river uh, in Dorset, um, taking, just taking photographs. I think I took them over a couple of days. It's quite a brief period of time. And uh, they produced these what I think are very beautiful results. You can probably just about pick out a kind of central square where the water was shallower and it was coming over uh, rocks. There's that, this crops up in uh, quite a lot of the images. Is having some central weight with these two wings going and spreading out from it. And I've done that in a, in a lot of different versions, different approaches to using different subject matter something that I'm experimenting with at the moment. These photographs that we've looked at and the, that I've presented here in the Minaris um, are as much about questioning what constitutes a photograph as depicting landscape and how varied that depiction can be.